early wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Good morning everyone and welcome to my morning routine. So I'll usually wake up at 5.45 when Brayden's alarm goes off and then I'll head straight back to sleep while Brayden makes himself some breakfast. Here's Brayden doing a little Brayden cam for you guys. Then he'll come down and wake me up at probably about quarter past six. And yeah, I usually struggle to wake up these days. It's not too fun when he turns the light on, but I eventually decided to get up. Oh wait, that's a lie. I ended up lying in bed for a little bit longer. I just have some cuddles with Brayden before he heads to work for the day. But after that, I did get up and headed straight to the bathroom to brush my teeth. Let me know in the comments, do you guys put water on your toothbrush before or after you put toothpaste on it or both? Because I do both. Apparently I was still half asleep when I was brushing my teeth because I completely missed my mouth But after that I will tie my hair up straight away and get it off of my face And then I will get my clothes out ready for the day So I actually go to the gym on weekday morning. So here I am getting my active wear out I don't like to shower first thing in the morning since I know I'm gonna get sweaty at the gym So I'll just shower when I come home later So now I'm just opening up Brayden's blinds to let some light in and then we just made Brayden's bed So this is the active wear set that I wore to the gym today. It's just from Lorna Jane. Then I decided to brush my hair because it was looking very naughty and I always tie my hair back at the gym obviously. So I just tied it back into a ponytail. Before I headed out the door, I just said goodbye to Brayden's dog Pebbles and made myself a glass of water. I'm trying to drink more since I've been having quite bad headaches. And then as you can see, I've got two big bags I have to carry out of Brayden's house because I obviously don't live there, so I have to take my stuff to and from his house. And then I said goodbye, which looks very dramatic. And now it's time to head to my car. There was actually a really nice sunrise on this particular morning, but then I'm off to the gym. As you guys will have seen from the montage this morning, I wake up at Brayden's house. I've been staying over at Brayden's house every single night for quite a few months now so I basically live at my house part-time and his house part-time and we're just doing that temporarily before we move out of home so this will be like the last morning routine before I live out of home which is so exciting so it's currently 7 a.m. I don't know if you guys can see that and I'm just about to head to the gym to train with Jesse I do this every single weekday and it's been really really good it sets my day up so right especially when I have a busy working day so I'm gonna get going to the gym okay so I'm here now I've just got to get everything that I need for the gym out of my bag I always bring so much stuff to Brayden's house that like I can never find anything <laughs> So once I find Jesse, we just head upstairs, sign in, and what happens next, Jesse? Well, it's quite plain and simple. We head to the toilets and do our morning <laughs> shit. It's me again, surprise, <laughs> I'm back. We are doing our usual routine, which is going to the gym in the morning and doing a good workout. We do different workouts every single day, though. Some days we'll do weights, yeah. some days we'll do a hip workout. And also, usually we have the other Jess here with us, but I she's know. not here today. I so know. it's just you and I, and we're gonna do a hit workout today, yeah. which I'm very excited for. I always feel so good after doing a HIIT workout. I know. I know. It just feels really effective because you get really sweaty. It's so, just, this one hurts. I know. Like I'm feeling it already and we haven't even started. You know, with weights, you're like, I can take it at my pace. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard, but you have a nice rest. Mm -hmm. This is nothing. You don't yes. get anything. So I'm like, great. So take a look awesome. at our faces now when yeah. they are nice and glowy and not sweaty. Actually, we'll still be glowy afterwards, but glowy with sweat. Yeah, we'll be disgusting. <laughs> See you then. <laughs> I can't feel my body fold against the concrete But I can't seem to get enough My mind is fixed on what it wants I just let you beat me Looks can be deceiving Let you get the best of me In bed with my worst enemy This is a no-go I just can't take hold This is a danger zone Back up and get me home This is a no-go I just can't take hold This is a danger zone Back up and get me Take a seat, let me waste your time Solving 
At about 9am I came home to my family's house and I had to say hi to the dogs first. Hello? You didn't come running to the door. How rude. I feel like my dogs take up a decent chunk of my morning routine so I just gave Luna some cuddles and then I went over to see Murphy and gave him some cuddles as well. I just love my dogs so much. Now time for coffee. I'm just having an X50 revolver coffee today. It's so easy, you just need water. And of course I'm having avocado on toast. Nothing new really. I'm also adding some salt and nutritional yeast as usual. And that is my breakfast sorted. So then I will just go ahead and do some journaling while I have my coffee and my breakfast. I'll usually write my gratitude list and then maybe write my to-do list for the day. And then also I'll do some free writing and just ask myself some journal prompts and just write down how I'm feeling. That's generally what I will journal in the morning. This is the reality of my morning routine. I was gonna go upstairs and shower and then I saw the dogs. And Luna has just been so cute today. Aww. So I just can't help myself from cuddling her. Does anyone else get so distracted by their dogs and end up procrastinating? Cause that is me. I've been out looking at places for so long. But everywhere I look, it points me back to you. Don't you say we got too crazy A little mischief makes fun You told me I was your favorite book Was it true? Okay, so I'm out of the shower and I'm gonna get dressed now I've just got an editing day today so I won't be leaving the house So I want to wear something very comfy I've actually already picked out my outfit So I'm just gonna wear this t-shirt dress that I recently got from Everlane I'm actually gonna do a video featuring some of the stuff that I got from them very soon but I just love things like this, it's so easy, easy to chuck on, you don't have to think about what you're wearing, but it still looks cute and it's comfy, so I'm going to pop this on. As you can tell, it is super comfy, perfect for a day like today, so now I'm going to get on with the rest of my skincare and dry my hair. I remember those eyes, they spark like the stars. Oh, it's about to storm. I'm sure you guys can't hear that, but I just heard thunder. But before I get on with drying my hair and doing the rest of my skincare, I wanted to share with you guys the products that I actually used in the shower. You may have seen me use a couple from the montage. So first of all, the shampoo and conditioner I've been using lately is by Bondi Boost, and it's the Blonde Baby Toning Shampoo and Conditioner. I've been really liking this, especially for my blonde hair. But what I really wanted to show you guys is the body washes that I've been using because they have been amazing and this one in particular smells amazing so i've been using two different body washes by frank body you might be wondering why have you been using two but basically i've been using this one on my body because it smells amazing and it just makes me smell delicious but then this one is actually unscented and i really like it because it's ph neutral so you can use this wherever you want like literally wherever you want so you can be cleaning all parts of your body and not worry about throwing your ph balance off i think that's a really important thing to know that we don't get like educated on really but you shouldn't really be using normal soap and body wash downstairs just because it can throw off your ph balance so this body wash allows me to be super clean without worrying about that so both of these body washes are from frank body's everyday range and they have a bunch of other products in the everyday range as well but i've been loving these all of their products are super clean with effective ingredients and they're actually made without 20 common ingredients that are found in other body washes so you have less nasties in these guys so i really like that also can we just talk about how cute the packaging is frank body seriously never disappoints with the packaging you guys can read what they say for yourself but I love it I think they look so cute in my shower so if you guys want to check out the everyday range and these body washes I will leave a link down below to where you can purchase these from I know you guys will love them okay back to doing my skincare I'm literally just gonna pop on a moisturizer today I'm gonna use a Frank body caffeinated face moisturizer and then I am going to go and blow dry my hair I can never sit with wet hair i really don't like the feeling of letting my hair just air dry it also goes so frizzy so i really rely on my dyson i miss that sexy smile looking for the see you i hope i will lose control So 
just did a little clean up of my room because my room was looking like a bomb site and I feel like since I'm working in my room on my laptop today I need to have a nice clear space but before I get on with my work I just want to put on a bit of jewelry I recently got these earrings from Ana Luisa hold on let me show you I don't know if you guys can see them but they are gorgeous i love them and then i've been wearing this necklace for months now i wear it pretty much every single day and i always get questions about it but it's actually from a store in the hunter valley it was just like a little independent store that sold lots of little gifts and i really really liked this necklace so unfortunately i don't really know where it's from did i put this on right i'm also just going to pop a little bit of concealer on i know it doesn't really matter i'm not going anywhere but it just makes me feel good just got a few breakouts at the moment so i'm just going to conceal them i've been getting really bad headaches over the last few days because i keep forgetting to drink water so today a big priority of mine is to make sure I stay hydrated. So before I finish my morning routine, I thought I would draw some cards with you guys that have affirmations on them. I actually got these for Christmas. I really love affirmations. I feel like they can completely change your day and shift your mindset. This one is from the deck called Spirit Junkie. Shall I just pull a random one? I'm feeling this one because it's hot pink. I claim my desires, I hold great visions, I am ready to receive. Now time for my affirmation from the universe has your back. I'm going to take this one. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. So true. I'm going to pop that in front of me as well as a little reminder. But that is going to wrap up my current morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me for my morning. Every day is different, but this is kind of like my go-to routine that I've been doing lately ever since I've been back at the gym anyway. But if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and go check out my other social media platforms. Also, if you're interested in checking out the Frank Body Everyday range, I'll have it linked down below. But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.